We're all involved in women's ministry, ministry among women, various shapes and sizes. Um, maybe we should say what that is first. Well, I mean, what, do you have a nutshell definition of ministry, women's ministry? What do you think? I think when women minister to each other, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty safe to call that ministry among women. Yeah, that's There's right. no need for... It doesn't have to be a program. A program okay. thing that starts at a certain time. Now, I'm ministering. Yeah. Um, but uh, as the Spirit of God leads you, mm -hmm. equips you, gifts you, mm -hmm. and you're in the context of this body mm -hmm. that's moving, all the parts working, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're going about what it is that God has for you, um, you're a woman ministering. ministering. Mm -hmm. In the body, according to the word, a woman ministering to another. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Uh, yeah. That'll, that'll work. Well, uh, as you do that and see that, what do you find? What are you finding? What's the most encouraging thing you're finding on, on that horizon these days? My favorite thing is, is when women say, I want to know how to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. They recognize that this is not just a book. This isn't just a textbook. I'm not reading things about God. I'm reading God's words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's alive. Mm -hmm. And I know that I need help mm -hmm. to do this. I need discipleship. How? And they just, how? Help me. How? That's uh, the most encouraging thing I've seen. Women asking that question. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I would agree with that completely. That's been one of the things that just really energizes me as I've traveled around is just seeing, it feels to me like a renewed interest in, in the Word, but uh, coupled with just a, a real sense of authenticity in their approach to it. Mm -hmm. I think that um, women are wanting more than mm -hmm. they have asked of women's ministry in the past, and I'm really thankful to see that because there's so much we could do for one, one another and with one another as women in the church. Mm -hmm. And so it's been really exciting to see this renewed interest in, wait a minute, maybe there's more to this than I thought. I don't want to just talk about Proverbs 31 or I don't want to just talk about how to be a good mom. I think there's more going on mm -hmm. in the Word and I, I want someone to show me how to get to that. Yeah, yeah. Um, We all work, I think, with Bible study groups mm -hmm. a lot. Um, one of the things I find encouraging as I, as I work with the very various groups and speak with various groups is that um, as I'm working, I'm finding not only um, an increasing interest in studying, in um, uh, digging in, but in learning how to, as you yes. say, and in wanting on the part of leaders to train people mm -hmm. to learn how to so that we can pass it on, how to ask certain questions of a text. And I'm finding people are asking me, where are the materials we can use mm -hmm. to train women to study? Mm -hmm. Not just to do it, to be given questions, but actually to train. Mm -hmm. That's awfully exciting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh. It's interesting. I can't tell how much of it, among younger women in particular, I think there are generations of women behind us who perhaps have not always been told to think of themselves as thinkers. Mm -hmm. And they're learning that sort of in their later years. This is something for me. And then there are these younger women who have never known a time when they were not told, you're a thinker, you can go to college, you can do whatever you want in life. And so for those women, they kind of come out of the gate thinking differently in terms of what, what am I going to do with scripture? They mm -hmm. sort of have a different expectation. Mm -hmm. But I see it from young to old, just mm -hmm. this, this new um, thinking of there's more to this than just reading devotionally or just looking at something from a topical standpoint. Mm -hmm. And I can't put my finger on what's driving it, but mm -hmm. it's pretty refreshing to start mm -hmm. to see. Absolutely. That is encouraging. Um, I also really encouraged when I see uh, God putting circumstances mm -hmm. and pressures in women's mm -hmm. lives mm -hmm. that drives them to understand and come to great grips with, mm -hmm. I need God's word as the foundation yes. for this. Yeah. The circumstances in my life are no longer manageable for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. in the way that I know how to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I've got to be standing on something firm mm -hmm. and it's obviously not my competency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need God's word. Mm -hmm. And when they get to the, that point, where they, everything else has fallen away, mm -hmm. there is something steady to stand on. And when they see that the Bible 
is that thing, mm -hmm. not books about the Bible, right. the Bible. Mm -hmm. um, then they just really, it, mm -hmm. they come alive and they start to see it as food. Mm -hmm. I yes. need to eat this every day. And that's amazing. What, whatever the background, I mean, you mentioned different backgrounds. Some women have been encouraged mm -hmm. to dig in. Other, other women haven't. And different generations are different. And different cultures are different. Different areas of the country are even different. Yeah. And yet you bring women together, even with different backgrounds, different ages, different experiences. And this living and active word, isn't it incredible, can speak into Cross all those barriers, mm -hmm. all those different lives, and all those different experiences. What a blessing to work with women in the Word. Mm -hmm.